Hi all, welcome back, welcome back. Uh, today's topic is your everyday schedule, lecture 38. Okay, so what I want to say is that it's very important for in your life to write down a schedule, something you're going to be doing every single day, no matter what. Okay, and the reason I'm saying this is because when you write your schedule down, you're going to be able to see what you actually want to do during the days of your life. Okay, and I just want to go in so you see what I'm talking about. I'll show you my schedule, what I am going to be doing every single day of my life. Okay, but also if something happens and something else comes up, I can just... For a small moment, exchange one activity and go do that other activity. So maybe uh, something else happens that I'm interested in. You know, I can maybe let go of three things in my schedule and go do that thing. Maybe with a friend, maybe a new event, something new, totally new happened. You know, I'll, I'll probably let go of something in my schedule so that I can exchange it for this new event. Okay. So this is my schedule, just so you see. Okay, <clears throat> so 7 a.m. is my wake-up time, okay? And straight away when I wake up, I put on the alarm clock, uh, I turn it off, I go in the kitchen, I grab something to eat, you know? And what I could be doing in this time is listening to silence while I wake up and also drink some water, get hydrated for the day. Okay, and roughly 14 minutes to eat something. So I could have a soup, a little soup, just to get me energized for the day. Um, put, put the water on, put it on hot, I'll pour in some soup, stir it, eat it. Or I could eat two bananas, maybe two apples uh, for my breakfast for 14 minutes. Or have a little toast, have some toast with butter on it, have like four toasts with butter. Or I can have toast and butter, uh, uh, one banana, and mix it up with a bit of milk and honey. Or maybe uh, ha have have that for, for my morning uh, energizing to energize me, have a, have a milk and honey. I could, I could do that, have a milk with some, uh, with some bananas. Or water with bananas, um, something. I'm just giving you ideas, but 14 minutes I'm gonna be eating in the morning as soon as I wake up. Okay, so then I will be going on to a motivational video. So you got Tony Robbins, you got Grant Cardone, you got a lot of people on YouTube who actually have motivational videos. Uh, you got uh, some. Celebrities like The Rock, you got um, a lot of people on the internet who are putting out motivational videos, uh, some of the famous people in the world who's, who speak, you know, you could go on YouTube, these are just some ideas of what I'm doing, you know, so I could learn, uh, after I eat, I can watch a motivational video for myself, uh, get pumped up for the day, learn something in a motivational video, something's going to motivate me to keep going during the day. I'm going to be doing that for one hour, you know, I'm going to make it one hour. I'm going to time myself, you know, listening. I'll literally time myself for one hour, listen to Tony Robbins or any kind of motivational video on YouTube. And what can I what I can do in that kind of time is I can focus on it for a length for the length of the video so that I have a learning curve um, so that I've learned something from that video. If I stand up, I literally like I'm listening, then I go I listen for 10 minutes, then I go somewhere in the shower, I have brushed my teeth, uh, or maybe even go lie down again or um, like this. I've written down one hour gonna be focused on the motivational videos so that I have a learning curve so I'm not disrupting the cycle of learning so I'm not getting up and getting something to uh, some doing something else right so that I'm able to focus on the motivational video and be able to learn something from that video and also 
be inspired by that, by that video. Okay, then after the motivational video, after I've eaten and read the motivation, the inspiring stuff, I'll be now, I'm going to be inspired, right? Now I'm going to go and brush my teeth, five minutes. Brush my teeth, brush it real good, real good, and listen to silence while I'm brushing it. Uh, left, right, center, top, uh, brush it really, really good, so I feel good about myself. So after I brush my teeth, then I'll come back in the living room, in my living room, and I'm going to sit at 8.20 a.m. And I'm going to connect with people. I'm going to connect on Facebook, maybe write a friend a message, write a few friends some messages. How are you doing? How are you today? You know, literally because I want to do that, right? So, or, or, or I can have a little uh, conversation with someone on the internet, someone that I've never talked to, maybe I, uh, I ha I'm good friends with some people on Facebook, so I speak to them, um, so what I can do in this time is that I can listen to music, and I can hydrate myself also, right, because you you have here a uh, motivation, you, you wake up, say for, for, for example for myself, I wake up at 7am, right, and two hours later, I'm connecting, so why not after two hours drink some water just to hydrate myself. Okay, and I will be listening to music while I'm connecting with people for 30 minutes. Then what you have is, <clears throat> for myself, um, then what I'll do is I'll go to the pools. Go to the pools, you know, 40 minute travel, 40 minute travel, 20 minutes each, back and forth. Then I can listen to our educational program while I'm driving to work, uh, not to work, but to the pools, right, I'm going to the pools, listen to educational program while I'm going back and forth, while I'm at the swimming pool, I've set a goal for myself, 800 meters to swim, swim 800 meters in one hour, to swim for one hour, I can accomplish that in about 32 minutes, I can swim 800 meters, and then for the rest of it, I can be breathing and um, relaxing one or two minutes before I go again. Okay, so that's going to the pools for myself. This is what you can do. You can do this also. I'm just giving you ideas, but also I want to, I want you to see how a schedule looks like because a lot of people today in the world do not have a schedule. They finish work and then after they come from work, they don't know what they're doing. You know, so they call up a friend. Do you want to chill? Do you want to do this? Do you want to do that? You know, they're looking for things to do. When you have a sh schedule, you know, you know exactly what you're going to do after work, or maybe you don't work, then for the whole day, you know what you're going to do for that day, or even after you come back from work, okay? So, then I move on to the shower. Have a shower. After my pool session, I come back from the pools. Don't have to take a shower at the pools. I come back from pools. I have a shower in my house, <clears throat> 10 minute shower, quick shower, wash my hair, this is what I can do, wash my hair, you know, put some shampoo on, uh, no dandruff, okay, uh, then what I can do is let the wind in, I have a little window uh, in my shower, in my toilet, and put the window up, let the wind, <coughs> let the wind come in, you know, make a nice, nice and refreshing, and uh, wash myself, uh, finish my shower then I am off at 10.40 after 10 minutes of shower I am off to a reading session then I read for one hour read for one hour really focus on the audio I could be in nature outside my front yard be in nature a bit while I read in, uh, in front of my yard there's a tree I could read there have a little cup of soup while I'm reading I could be in my house, I could be outside in my front yard, I let my pets out in the front yard while I'm reading, watch them while I read, you know, watch what they do, uh, probably they're going to come to me and I'll pat, pat them on the head you know, while I'm reading, you know, and drink some water, stay hydrated, as you can see I had at 8.20 I had water, so two hours later hydrated myself again, okay then <clears throat> Once I finish my reading session, I play with some pets, or with my pets. I play with my pets for 20 minutes. I literally play with them. I, 
uh, run around, laugh, you know, make them make them lick my ear, um, you know, be on the floor with them and um, play with my pets, laugh around, uh, have a good laugh, you know, be be happy. Um, then after twenty minutes, I come back in my house. I search for seminars. Maybe there's Robert Kiyosaki coming in my area, or maybe Tony Robbins is coming in my area, maybe some of the authors that I've read are coming in my area, maybe there's a new finance seminar somewhere in my area, so I can learn about finance, uh, learn about personal development programs, maybe somewhere there is a personal development program that I can go to, to boost my knowledge, boost my uh, level of thinking, so I search for that for 15 minutes a day, every single day, <coughs> you know, be, be updated on where the seminars, seminars are. And what I can do in this time is consciously breathe and listen to silence while I'm searching. After the seminar, uh, after I've searched for seminars, then I can do myself a yep lecture like this one, like, like this lecture. But little different topics on the, uh, every single time, a different topic. Um, I have a one hour gap for that, so I might be uh, standing up, teaching for one hour. Maybe I might be sitting down, teaching for one hour. So the goal is to teach something beneficial to someone, to help someone. Then after, I might finish in 30 minutes, you know, I might finish. Uh, upload it to YouTube, that takes time, uh, all this kind of stuff. So uh, I've put one hour gap for that. Then after that, I go chill with my dad for an hour. He'll be up. Um, I will have no phones, no music, no programs, chill with my family. You know, this is what you can do also to have no phones, no music, no programs. Just be with your dad, bond, I'll be with your family, uh, bond with them, talk with them. Um, you know, just be with him, uh, with them for one hour, for your fam with your family for one hour. You don't have to have the same schedule as me. You have your own schedule, you know. But I'm just saying, you know, you could chill with your family for one hour, having no phones, no music, no programs. Just giving you ideas. Um, after I chill with my dad, I'm gonna have lunch. I'm gonna have eat lunch. So last time I ate was seven in the morning. 7 a.m. I woke up and now it's 2 15 p.m. Now I eat lunch 30 minutes. I cook myself for 15 minutes, maybe cook eggs, maybe have a sandwich, um, have soup with a sandwich, soup with eggs, or uh, something. Uh, lunch, uh, have something for lunch every single day. And then what I can do while I'm listening to lunch. lunch is I can listen to silence. I can just eat and focus on my food. And I can cook and I can drink water while I eat lunch, just eat lunch. Then after lunch, I can call a friend, call one of my friends and talk for 15 minutes. Have a timer on, 15 minutes, talk, see what they're up to, get a bit updated, get updated with my friend, tell them what's going on. Um, increase my knowledge about what they're doing also and um, speak with them, connect with them and also have a pen with me. Have a little pen because I might, when I have a pen on me, I realize that I'm much more in a thinking mode and I feel better when I have a pen uh, in my fingers <coughs> and I'm just swirling around talking. Okay, after I called my friend, I'll go for a walk session and sit in nature somewhere. And I'll do this for one hour, 30 minutes. I'll go for 30 minutes, I'll go to a park nearby my house. I'll sit in the park for 30 minutes and I'll walk back for 30 minutes. And then what I can do while I'm walking, while I'm walking to the park, I can focus on educational program, maybe listen to music, have some water on me, drink some water while I walk. Um, also, when I'm in the park, I can listen to music if, if that's what I want to do. I can also listen to educational programs while I'm walking to the park, change over, listen to music while I'm sitting down in nature, under a tree, under the shade. And then once I finish, 
sitting in nature for 30 minutes, go back, walk with educational programs again. <clears throat> and then when I come back, and also I can practice conscious breathing in the park, focusing on my breath while I walk to the park, consciously breathing, focusing, uh, uh, bettering my fitness level. So I could, uh, this is what I can do. Okay. Some okay. Then what I can do is I can have a shower uh, after my walk at four thirty. After one and a half hours being sitting in nature, come back. Um, I have a shower, ten minutes. I'll be sweaty. I'll be walking. Uh, be sitting on the grass, so it's going to be dirty. So I'll have a shower, ten minutes again. That's the second shower for the day. Uh, every day. Then listen to silence uh, while I'm listen while I'm having a shower. Let the wind in, wash my hair. After the shower, I connect with people. Uh, again, thirty minutes. This is my second of my first hour. I'm completing of connection time. So then I can listen to music while I connect. I can share some motivational stuff that I've either been learning earlier in the day or maybe post some new quotes. Um, on, on Facebook, help someone for the day, uh, connect with people, connect with friends, connect with people on Facebook, um, and stuff like that. Then after that, chill with my dad for one hour again. This is going to be the second hour I chill with my family. So I have no phones, no music, no programs. This is going to be two hours I've already chilled with my, with my family. After I chill with my dad, have dinner. Have a dinner for 30 minutes. Cook myself something nice. Um, eat for 15 minutes. That's what I need to eat. Uh, I'll just eat and I'll listen to silence. This is what I could do. Then I'll have myself a yip lecture again. I'll do another lecture. That's going to be my second lecture for the day. Uh, have a little one hour gap in between that. Um, from one hour to uh, from one minute to one hour usually uh, up to one hour, uh, teach something, um, be more motivated because I took action, I taught something for the day, you know, after I finish, uh, yep, lecture, start writing, write 500 words uh, every single day, write something, a little chapter, 500 words, uh, 30 minutes, time myself for 30 minutes, write and listen to music while I'm um, listen to my favorite artist and also write something, a little chapter, or maybe continue the next day again on the same chapter. Write something and make sure that I'm, uh, I'm going to make sure that I reach 500 words. Also, after my writing and after I've done two lectures for the day, after I've read my motivational and um, I've exercised and everything, I watch a movie, watch something that, from my childhood, maybe watch Predator, Arnold Schwarzenegger, that's from my childhood, uh, watch The Lost Worlds, uh, Part 2, uh, the dinosaur movie, uh, I could watch that from my childhood, or I can watch something totally new that I've never watched in my life, um, I could do that, and I'll make sure that it's a two hour long movie. Then, after my movie, after I finish watching a movie, Chew with my dad. Chew with my dad again for 55 minutes. That's two hours and 55 minutes I've spent with my dad uh, today. No phones, no music, no educational programs. No phone for two hours and or almost three hours. I have no phone on me. Plus the shower and um, all this kind of stuff for traveling. And uh, I could, yeah. Um, so then after I chew with my dad, I brush my teeth. Yeah, just before bed, uh, five minutes, little quick brush, brush it good, uh, brush it really good, uh, listen to silence, look at myself in the mirror, um, close off the light, yeah, 11, 11, I'm in bed, I'm in bed, I check the time, it's 11, 11, and then I sleep, I sleep for five hours, um, for seven hours and 50 minutes, every single day, and that's enough rest, you have enough rest to sleep, and um, you'll be, um, you won't, um, when you have enough rest, you're going to find that 
you're better able to focus, better able to handle handle the day, you know, when you get enough sleep. You know, so this is my schedule. So this is why it's important to have a schedule. You will find that when you don't have a schedule, when you don't when you do not have a schedule, you know, you're gonna come back from work and you're gonna be like, what do I do? Uh, you know, what what can I do? You know, maybe you are interested in something that you do after work, you can put that in your schedule, put that in your schedule, um, you know, so uh, when you have a schedule of what you're going to do during the day, as you can see, uh, I have a schedule, so, um, you know, my day is filled with exercise and reading and uh, brushing my teeth, taking care of myself, eating, you know, so this is what you can put in your schedule also. Okay, so this is just some ideas, you know, that you can do during the day. Uh, also, if you don't work, if you don't work, this is also something that you can do also. You know, maybe you want to teach something during the day. Uh, you want to teach something of your own. Uh, maybe you want to write a book also. You want to write a book um, for 30 minutes every single day, write 500 words, make a goal for yourself. You know, this is just an example of my schedule, you know, it doesn't have to be your schedule, but you can make your own schedule, what you want to do in life, you know, so I'm just giving you ideas and I'm um, showing you a bigger picture that when you have a schedule, when you have a schedule for every single day, that it's much better, you follow the schedule, you know, you know what you're going to be doing at any given moment, you know, you've got something to accomplish, you've accomplished something for the day, you've accomplished what you want to do during the day, so if something comes up, say, um, I, uh, there's a nice event, there's a really good event at at 6 p.m. somewhere. Then I can, for example, chill with my dad for 30 minutes, uh, maybe 20 minutes, chill with him, and then I can uh, rub off these four things. Run, watch a movie, write music, um, I can rub that off, I can not do a lecture, and I can uh, not have, um, uh, then I can uh, have dinner somewhere else after that event. Then I can come back home after and just like sleep, before uh, come back home before 11 11 if the if the events until that time you know so um i'll figure a way that after the event you know depends what time it finishes what time i come back home you know then when i come back home i continue my schedule again um you know so if i if maybe i'm i'm out till 2 in the morning you know come back home i'm brushing my teeth um i brush my teeth you know so uh, come back home, brush my teeth, and fall asleep straight away. Then I'll wake up again uh, at 7 a.m., you know, so I've paid a consequence to go to this event, you know, so I have to pay a consequence to get up and follow my schedule again, okay? So if something comes up during your schedule, you know, you can, if you're really interested in that event or that situation or maybe a friend invited you to somewhere, you know, uh, what you can do is you can leave, leave your schedule, you know, um, doesn't uh, you don't always have to follow just this schedule for the all the time you know if something comes up that you really want to go to you know let this go you know go to the event you know um, go have fun uh, go do what you want to do that makes you happy okay but this is just for every single day ma making sure that when nothing new happens in your life you know that you are working on yourself that you are um, exercising that you are chilling with your family that you um, that you're doing something according to your schedule, okay? Uh, because what happens is when you go towards a schedule, you know, you're much more uh, capable of finishing tasks and finishing what you want to do, you know, what really makes you happy in life, you know? So uh, when you have a schedule written down, you know, you are going to be uh, able to uh, do the things and get more done during the day and do the things that you want to do as a person. So uh, if nothing comes up in the new world, not, no new events, you know, you can still follow your schedule, you know, do your own schedule. You know, so for example, me, if nothing comes up into my life, you know, I, I have motivational video in the morning. I've got pools, I go exercise in the pools. If you can't afford to go to the pools, you know, you can go for a walk outside your house somewhere for one hour 40 minutes go to the park again and then later on you can do it again you can do it one more time listen to educational programs again uh you know it's no big deal uh then when you have money you can then put that in your schedule again and you can go uh, to the pools exercise you know so uh, this is just an example but um just so i can show you so you can see a difference between 
being organized, following your schedule, and not having a schedule at all. Okay, so with with my schedule, you know, I I have one hour in the morning to get motivated, inspired for the day. You know, so I read some stuff from Tony Robbins. Uh, also, uh, what else? I got one hour in the park in nature. Uh, well, thirty minutes in the park and. I got. I can listen to music while I'm there. You know, I can. I have one hour there session, one hour reading session there. So that's two hours I've read today. I've pulled into my mindset. Uh, also, uh, there's one more. Uh, I think there was. Uh, here, one hour reading session. That's three hours for the day I've read and I've. I've invested in my mentality. So, um, you know, I've exercised also for two hours every single day. So I'm getting exercise, I'm building muscle, I'm building my mentality, I'm chilling with my family for three hours, you know, um, I'm, I'm watching a movie, a little entertainment kind of thing, um, you know, I'm brushing my teeth, I'm having two showers a day, you know, I'm sleeping at the right time, um, getting enough sleep, you know, so I'm um, just giving you examples of what you can do as a person, you know, so uh, you can mix some of this uh, into your own schedule, you know, so... Um, you know, you can connect for one hour a day, you know, you can have no phones for three hours a day, you know, just be out in nature, be with your family, um, you know, you don't have to have phones, you know, I find when I have a phone on me and I'm listening to music, my dad's sitting next to me, you know, I'm not connecting with him, listen to music, you know, when, when I, when I, Listen, when I don't, when I don't have a phone on me or educational programs, you know, I'm fine that I'm much more bonding with my father. Um, I have no phones, you know, I get to focus on him for a bit, you know, I get to bond with him, talk with him, see what he's up to, you know. So uh, this makes everything organized, as you can see, you know, when you are organized and following your schedule, you know, uh, you're going to be much more happier in life. You, you're doing, you're taking care of yourself as a person when you follow it. You know, it's going to discipline you to uh, go and plan your days ahead. And uh, it's going to, uh, like, when you have a schedule, you're going to be disciplined to stay according to the schedule. And no matter what happens, this is my schedule. Uh, if, if something comes up for me as a person, you know, I'm going to maybe let go of these four and just go, I'll, I'll go and um, go to the new event, you know, something, try something new all the time, uh, keeps me open-minded, keeps me happy when I love, lo when something's not on my schedule and something else different comes up for me that I can, a like, a, like a little opportunity that I can do something else, you know, instead of not just following my schedule for the rest of my life, you know, but, um, I'm trying, I'm adding some different kind of stuff, uh, to my schedule, you know, so, but, after I finish that event, you know, I just come back to my schedule again, you know, I'll make a sacrifice if I come back at 2 a.m. in the morning, you know, so then I'll make sure that I wake up at 7 a.m., you know, um, to follow my schedule again. Okay, so I hope this has helped you. I hope I gave you a lot of ideas on what you could do. I hope uh, you see a difference now uh, between organizing, having a schedule every single, every, I called it the every single day everyday schedule because that's what it is it's an everyday schedule uh something you, you come back to all the time you know something then you can what you can do is like you can change it maybe something this is boring you or something you want to add something new that you love to do you know you can do that you can just swap it around uh so um you know it's going to take you at least one hour to do this kind of schedule you know it's going to consume up your time but it's going to make a lot of um, uh, a lot of improvements in your life, you're going to be able to see what you're going to be doing during the days, you know, and then you can change it up, you can be creative, you know, you can add, uh, maybe you want to start off with a movie at one o'clock, you know, maybe, uh, or maybe you want to start off with a movie at six o'clock instead of, uh, instead of, uh, 8 p.m., you know, if you want to watch a movie at 6 p.m., you can do that, you know, so, um, you know, you can be creative about this, you know, once you, once you have uh, your own schedule, you see what you're going to be doing, you're going to see a difference, a big difference in your life, you know, if you, if you have, if you don't have a schedule, you know, you're going to be able to see um, your day ahead and your year ahead, you know, you're going to be able to see what you're going to be doing in life, you know, and this is a big motivator, you know, you're going to get, um, you're going to see you're going to see your schedule and you're going to be like, this is a massive difference, you know, I'm glad I put in the hour of time 
to make a schedule for myself, you know, if something comes up, you know, I'll go to that event, you know, if I come back later than 11.11, for example, myself, um, I'm going to make a sacrifice like that to wake up at the appropriate time, maybe I might have four hours sleep for that day, I'll make sure that I'll wake up at 7am uh, and start my schedule again, okay, um, so thank you very much for watching, I hope you've enjoyed, uh, I hope to see you back, and see you later.